Hello everyone, my name is Isat Hajri Sagaigi and I'm your instructor for today's lesson. The topic for today is Universal Automatic Computer, UNIVAC. Before we move into deeply into the topic, let's look at the objective of the course. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain what is Universal Automatic Computer. Also, students should be able to list some of the models of the UNIVAC. Also, students should be able to list some of the features of the UNIVAC. <coughs> and lastly, students should be able to answer some questions. What do we understand by Universal Automatic Computer? We have various generation of computer. We have the first generation, the second generation, the third generation, the fourth generation, and the fifth generation of computer. So the universal automatic computer are examples of the first generation computers. The universal automatic computer, the UNIVAC, is a set of computers made by the Eckhart Mochley Computer Company and also later by RAND in 1950s. The UNIVAC was preceded by the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, that is the ENIAC, and a binary automatic computer, which are made in 1940s. Now, let's look at some of the models in UNIVAC. UNIVAC produces a number of separate models. The early models was the 1100 model, which was composed by vacuum tubes computers so now let's look at the models one after the other the first is the univac that is universal automatic computer one this univac one is the second commercial computer in the united states it was the first machine which was delivered in 31st march 1951 and this machine was arranged in 1000 watts of 12 alphanumeric characters and as I said earlier this univac one was composed by a vacuum tubes then the univac 2 that is the universal automatic computer 2 was an improvement of the univac one that is univac one was first delivered in 1958 the improvement includes the magnetic, that is the non-mercury. So, uh, like I said earlier, the Univac one was composed by the vacuum tubes, while in Univac two, there is an improvement in terms of magnetic, that is non-mercury, and also the core memory consists of two thousand to ten thousand watts, unlike the Univac one. It ranges from 1000 watts and has 12 alphanumeric characters. While the third one is the Univac 3, that is Universal Automatic Computer 3. It is the integration of the first Univac and then the second model of the Univac. It was generated and invented with the help of binary machines which consists of decimal and alphanumeric data for backward compatibility so these are the three main models in univac the univac one the univac two and then univac three then lastly we'll look at some of the features of this univac what are the physical and then the memory main memory features of univac univac one that is universal automatic computer one uses about 5000 vacuum tubes as you can see vacuum tubes they are very large and it it uses about 5000 vacuum tubes and also it consumes a lot of power as we all know the first generation computers they consumes a lot of power so it consumes about 125 kilowatt of power and it can also perform about 1905 operation per seconds 
running on 2.25 megahertz clock and also the complete system occupies more than 35.5 meters square that is the space on ground and also the lastly the memory memory consists of 1000 watts of 12 characters that is the alphanumeric so before we end this lesson let's do a recap of what we have learned in this lesson we have learned a brief description of what is universal automatic computers and when this this universal automatic computer was invented and also we have also looked at different univac models where i said we have the univac 1 univac 2 and then univac 3 and we have seen what are the differences between the universal automatic computer 1 universal automatic computer 2 universal automatic computer 3 and we have also seen what are the differences between them and lastly we have also looked at some of the features of this univac here is a, some questions for student one students should describe what is universal automatic computer two students should be able to explain what is what are the models of univac number three what are the features of univac thank you very much for listening hope to see you in our, my last lesson Thank you.